She hasn't wanted to talk to us for days. Is our destination? Yes, I gather that her plan is still to strike at Wesmere before the Northlanders have an opportunity to launch a proper offensive or even hear about our situation. Damn, for all I know, our messengers and their ship could have been destroyed by the enemy already. I heard that the Grand Council has been hesitant about pressing on this war ever since your victory in the Empire's so-called capital. They think they've won already. Is everyone ready for battle? Uh, battle? Our scouts didn't go unnoticed, but they found a couple of well-armed enemy outposts ahead. This will most certainly not be a safe journey across the dry remains of Wesmere. Has it even occurred to you that our little struggle in their headquarters on that accursed peninsula has put their forces in motion again? to protect what little remains of Nyechnagar. Of course it has, but there's no time to discuss this now. Let's move out. Okay, our job is to move a linear to the top edge of the map. Uh, and, or, looks like and, defeat all enemy leaders. Early finish bonus, 40% of gold carried over. Um, all these four who are in the scenario at the moment have to survive. Okay, we've got a decent chunk of gold. It could be worse. Anyway, let's have a look at the map. Okay, are there, there aren't any drone leaders. There are just random level 2 drones floating around the place. Which mean that, as usual, ghosts are a fairly good bet. The fact that there are lots of castles here is kind of nice. It means that uh, I've got a lot of opportunities for recruitment anyway. Uh, got to remember, though, that Kiara is easily killable, even at level 3. Horo is not easily killable, but uh, still best not be too reckless with him. Interesting musical moment. So... Can I bait anyone out yet? It looks like I actually can, if I really want to. I could bait one of these drones out to attack Kiara. She wouldn't die. But even next turn, these two units aren't going to be there. So best not do that. If the bird wants to attack me, I'll let the bird attack me. Otherwise, you just stay there. What recalls have I got? Oh, I've got some nice ones. I've got some forest spirits. They're going to be nice in the uh, in the daylight here. Got some forest spirits. Got some spectres. And as we know about this campaign, it's more important to have powerful units than to have lots of units. Um, but let's get my loyal units. First of all, um, I think because we want to move fast here, if I recruit any new units, they should mostly be ghosts and sprites, probably go well, and bats. So let's have some expendable, let's have a castle of expendable ghosts, or part of a castle of expendable ghosts. Expendable Sprite, another Expendable Ghost, and then we're going to have the Loyal Elves. Aliolan, the, uh, the Dark Sorceress, is tempting, but the problem with her is she's uh, not fast. And in fact, yeah... I don't have any level two units. Uh, level, any level two? Are there, do I have any any dark adept level dark adepts that are quick? Yeah, Milongil, you're quick. It's tempting to bring you out, but first, I'm going to fighter and my healer Della the Shaman, who is a must survive unit. The only healer other than Alinea that I have on my on my side. 
Let's go. All right, you're recruiting irritating level one units. You're recruiting a few irritating level one units as well. I'm more afraid of the drones than I am of these guys. And I can always recruit more units later if I feel like it. So I think right now the priority should be to not over recruit. You get 50% defense wherever you go, so you can go here. And now there's plenty of units ready to back you up. Good thing about desert elves is that they are not useless in the desert. It's nice not to be on a map that's either underground or foggy, where I can actually see where I'm going. Makes a nice change. Okay, let's have Milongil, the Dark Adept, back. And then other than that, we're going to have some powerful undead, some level 2 undead, like a wraith. Oh! I didn't know, how did I not spot you there? It's Ungyan, the Dark Sorceress. You're resilient and quick. Well, I'm having you. And I'm going to get the wraith. Gonna leave the bone shooters at home because they're gonna to be too slow going across the desert. And that's pretty much it for my level two units, so I guess I could get a handful of level one units. Best not, like I say, best not overdo it for now. Um don't know how much actually. I don't know how much the uh the enemy is gonna be recruiting. What do I want? Do I want a spectre or do I want a forest spirit? Um I think I want the Forest Spirit. I think they're going to be actually more useful than the Spectres right now. So Sesea it is. And then I've got a minor negative to gold, but I should be able to remedy that pretty quick. And my loyals and the units I have out here are such beasts. Okay. That was definitely worth it. Got a bit lucky there, but never mind. Well, the blue player owns almost all of these villages. I ought to, once I'm out and about. It's a shame that um, there are so many drones around the place, because what I really need to deal with this is bats. Bats are the ultimate unit for dealing with this kind of situation. All right, green players not stopped recruiting. But if it trickles units towards me, then... It's not the end of the world. Okay, so... Can you kill this thing? Only if you get really lucky. I'll try and... Ah! No! What? No! Don't do that. Um, first best try and... No, not you. Not, not risking you. Are you? Get a few hits in. Oh, what am I doing with my clicking today? Nothing good. Alright, now... Okay, we can have a warrior or a flanker. Now, if you're a warrior, Naron, you will get the ability Formation, which gives you bonuses when you're next to other units with the ability formation uh, and how many of those units do I have or do I have access to that's right zero okay so formation is useless to me um, I could go for the slightly weaker unit the flanker um, which does have poison abilities um, and is almost as powerful in combat and crucially as a skirmisher so I think I'm gonna do that just gonna have to be careful with keeping you alive All right, so now I want to deal with these guys. The, ra the uh, ghost who's out front is already well set up for that. And I want to lure this drone out as well. Would be nice to lure the drone out without also getting attacked by all of these guys. 
but I can't guarantee that. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to stick Horro, who is an absolute tank, over here. The Bowman and the uh, Invader can't do anything. Um, now, as long as I put someone else in the middle here, like Malkeshar, he ought to be. That ought to be irresistible. It ought to be uh, like candy to a baby. Uh, I'm going to put you over here so that you can heal up Horro. Very tempting to get that village. Um, yeah, you know, why not? If I can outflank on this side, no one else can reach. And um, I'd be, I get the better of the fight either way. It's daytime and I've got a lawful unit. Bring a ghost up there in support. Maybe a ghost and even... Uh, no, you come down this way because I'll need you to help deal with the bulk of the enemy forces. You folks move out. And you again can move up here just in case. All right, there's a lot of troops there, a lot of troops there from green. They're all rubbish, but, uh, you know. Okay, the damage is as predicted, largely. Or I can definitely tank that. He'll be uh, only down 14 after that turn. Blue has stopped recruiting. That's good. And the bait has been well and truly taken. Priority now is to make sure that Horo doesn't die, and ideally neither does anyone else. How fast are you guys? Fast enough to reach over here, but not fast enough to uh, not fast enough for more than one of you to get access to this spot. So my strategy is open up with a marksman. Nice work, Kiara. You can hold this flank. Here too, these guys are very slow. These guys are extremely slow. These guys are slightly less slow. So if I have someone here, assuming I can get rid of the two horsemen, which I definitely can. Well, let's let's push in from the rear and see what I can uh, what I can wangle. An underwhelming strike. You can do better. Got the kill. Oh, pants. Definitely hoping that wouldn't happen. Oh well. All right, that's that out of the way. Now here. Uh, on this flank, I only need to worry about one horseman, that's fine. He 
here my forest spirit could get a bit battered if I put it out front. So I'm going to leave it round back. Nasty, nasty folks. All right. You come and... well no, you need the healing. Two people can attack Malkesha, that's fine. One can attack the Dark Adept, shouldn't be enough to kill it. One can attack over here, and again I'm going to bring the ghosts in. Tempted, tempting again to, to just lure out more of these assault drones but I don't think it's wise before I've dealt with the green play and I am quite close to that so you just come in behind you two you're fast on the sand so you can go here You can come up here too. What are you going to do? Um, get health. Green 2 has stopped recruiting now. I should be able to chew through these units relatively easily. It's a bit annoying that Blue's units are going to reach me before I can kill the green leader. the archer suicide strategy that's fine by me and just like that green's forces are looking very meager indeed I mean I do still have to kill them and it's night time or it's getting that way Okay, you just need to make sure you don't get attacked now. Once again, you've only got one unit that can get in here and attack Kiara, so... It's tempting to... Tempting to return Kiara to the main body of the force, actually. Because she can then... She can deal a lot of damage. And ghosts can take care of this one. Perfect. And uh, you've left me in a lovely position to be able to get a kill with my shaman. And hopefully that shaman will not be in any danger now. Kiara is going to be in danger if I don't put something in front of her. Well, let's take one step at a time. I uh, can put people who are relatively hench out in front. People who are weak, like you, should go towards the back. hit points <laughs> you two are out of the battle you're de facto out of the battle you can actually I'm going to bring the ghost in from the flank over here So you're going to send Naron up to deal with this. 
that's fine. As a dog, it's not fast enough. Job. put these ghosts in relatively vulnerable positions now. I definitely want them to get attacked rather than anyone else at this point. Not quite get the kill there. Can probably just about get away with doing this. could go and attack Naron, but only one. Only you two can attack the Spar, the Spectre, uh, so the, the Spirit, um, and only you can go around and attack this Dark Adept, though I'm sure you will be very tempted to do so, being the bum hole that you are, and you might even kill it. Uh, if so, there's nothing I can do about it, I don't think. Yeah, you're going to be so tempted to do that. Okay, that was reasonable. Okay, well, hopefully I won't lose too much this turn. Blue will be able to keep recruiting, but otherwise this is one of those scenarios where I'm just going to... Once I've defeated the main armies... Oh, come on! Can you miss once or twice? Ghost here. All right, now I've got to watch out for stuff coming from the north, including this dog, who I do not want to get. Its, I don't want it to get its teeth into uh, into Naron. These guys are fast too. Don't need to worry about the pretty much any of these guys yet. So for now I should just move in. There you go, Horro. You'd be an absolute beast. You can only get ranged by this guy. Mal. Okay, need some lunch for my wraiths. You go. Uh, 
Ah, can't hit, can't hit. But uh, other than that, all good. Oh, there's still you. You're still alive. Frustratingly. someone who's big and beefy in melee combat to deal with this one, but I don't have anyone who's big and beefy in melee combat, so I guess I'll just have to work with what I've got. I'm going to use a ghost, and maybe this ghost will get killed by the dog next turn. If so, it was a noble trade. Ah, oh, some big hits there from the little wiener. No one can hit this guy. Well, he doesn't seem to be able to hit anyone either, but this is an insane amount of survivability for just some random bowman. And I don't want to put anyone to the north of him because then the dog can uh, get 50% defense. Alright, shouldn't be getting hit by too much this turn. And I'm in positive income just about. I wish I could get rid of this leader before these blue were upon me, but uh, not quite speedy enough for that. Uh, I didn't think you were in range. Things looking less great now, but it is the daytime. And now it's tempting just to keep pushing over here. Uh, maybe I can get around and get to this Razorman and, and just to hold in the north. But I've not quite got enough troops for that. None of you kill this stupid bowman! Good, yes, you can. And as usual, gonna stick Malkeshar out front. Kiara is so much faster than anyone else that she can come and do this completely without regard to consequences. But she didn't do very well, so she does have some consequences, and most of that, those consequences are just being hit by the guy she just failed to kill. Could 
could use a wraith. Depends on what I want to achieve down here. Good stuff. Gotta watch out for horror. He's gradually getting worn down by all of these dudes. But they're, they're slow across the sand. That's the one saving grace. So as long as I, I keep an eye on my unit placement, I shouldn't be in too much trouble. There we go. You're useless, 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 useless. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Stupid drones. Um, useless, 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 useless. Ye almost useless. Probably useless. Useless. Almost useless. Not useless, not useless, not useless. It'll be nice to be able to kill you. Now, Linear on the whole, not doing great with the old hits recently. And you park up behind. Bring these ghosts in. Gonna put the put you there so that Alinea and Horror don't get flanked. Okay. So the one green unit and only really a couple of blue units are all that helpful at this point. Well, four max. Probably four will go for it. So we got some good damage in. That did also take a lot of damage in the process. I've got to make sure you stay useless. Yeah, you guys are not really concerning unless I, unless I actually reach the green boss, which I shouldn't do this turn. So once again I can kind of unravel the enemy from the back. Nice. Alinea is quite weak, but she is pretty close to her level, so if I can get her somewhere where she can get nice amounts of experience. I think the units who are down here ought to be able to deal with this without any extra worst. Good, you can't do anything. Yeah, you won't be able to do anything, as I said. It's these four that I need to be concerned about. So, how much damage can I deal to them? Another point. 
another brownie point. We'll stick Melkesha here. So we can get a kill. And now, just got these two, and I've got five units floating around ready to deal with them. Just need to be very careful with the positioning. So little damage. I'd like to be able to do just one more. But it was not to be. And now it's not entirely clear that you can kill this guy, at least not without dying yourself in return. So I have to use Kiara for that. And that was not a problem at all. So now you come and deal damage. Um, you can take 18 in return, that's fine. And the enemy can keep trickling his troops towards me. player is able to recruit another unit. Probably good to uh, to off the uh, that off that green leader if I can. In order to do that, I'll need to press forward over here. Not quite a kill. Alright, pretty weak performance there from Della the Shaman. Should be able to finish things with a ghost though. Okay, now we've got all of Malkesha, the Forest Spirit and Elinia able to get in here. Alright, that's half his health gone. This should not be too much of a challenge, I think. Alright, now he's on 12 health. And Alenia should be able to finish it just fine. Three hits from this. Perfect. All right, and now I can give her an after maximum level advancement. Um, Fairy Fire replaces Mystic Fire. Range Arcane 9, 3, Magical? That just seems worse. Why would you do that? 27 damage versus 30? Yeah, it is worse. That's crazy. Okay, I can get more Thorns damage. Um, not that, not that. No. All of these options, none of them seem that great, really. Um, I'm going to go with the hit points for now. All right, so got to now be a bit careful here to make sure that we don't... Ugh, you're too slow. You're on eight health, so I'm going to need... You to deal with that. Um, how much damage are you going to... Are you only going to do 15 damage? It's only the daytime. 
can honestly just take that damage, because I'm more worried about losing my forest spirit over here. You just press forward, and in a second I'm going to recruit a bat or two from here to help me in the house game, to help me in the housing market. I think actually what I should do is move this ghost there so that I can trigger this assault drone to come out, because I'm not now really worried about what this bowman can do. All right, let's try that. And out it comes. Doesn't get the kill. That guy practices his sorcery, doesn't get too far either. Oh! And my ghost survives! That was a tad on the lucky side, I have to say. I wasn't invested in that ghost survival. But you know. Can almost lure this drone out. Could in fact do so with, with one of these other ghosts. Well, I want to make sure I can kill this one first though. And the ultimate ghost the ultimate drone kill is a bit weakened. So I'm gonna have to be careful. First things first, let's deal with this little wiener. And let's get some recruitment in as well. You're well on your way towards being level 3, which will be fantastic when you get there. So Alinea, you slow, please. Okay, down goes that thing. this dude you could go onto a house and if you do you will lure out that other drone which I think is fine oh I did just use a linear which I said I wasn't gonna do because I was, I was gonna get a bat um, but I think the bat is not my most urgent need right now Come up here. Alright, things are progressing. Is there going to be something scary at the top end of this map? It's often the case in these scenarios that such a thing has been known. Okay, good, lots of inaccuracy there.
Right, got there in the end. Hmm. <clears throat> dog time. Who wants to take on a dog? Well, you could. You could very easily. Fantastic, didn't even take any damage. And you're not in range of anyone either. Alright, push on. Everyone's a bit injured. We can let this skirmishy person come along and fight Elenia. The only drones left are right in the back. And Elenia can heal Della, and Della can heal Elenia. Well, you know, actually, if this skirmisher wants to, it can fight Malakeshar. And it probably will, because he's in 30% defense. Other than the putative bat, um, I think it is a good idea for my troops to, to start to come together a bit more. Well, goodbye to you. Okay, check the ranges. That's safe. This is safe too. Everything's safe. Everything's flipping safe. But do I want to put someone else on there? No, you would do the perfect job, really. I mean, you... Mm, yeah. You stay where you are, just for one turn. You get a bat. Just so that I can, for the few more turns that this scenario remains, I do have to get Alinea to the north edge of the map. Important to remember that. And I do want to lure out both of these guys. And actually, I should do that now. Because I might not get too many other chances. Can't do it with Malkeshar. Could do it with a ghost, though. All right, so this ghost will now lure out both Malkesh, both this guy and this guy, or even just this guy. Perfect. Malkeshar, you move up. You go there if you really want to lure out that, you know. Ah uh, no, but now I'm gonna get now I'm gonna get law keepered. Still might be worth it. If the law keeper really wants to come out and fight, probably wouldn't want to stop him. Well, I could put Alinea in the forest so that she's hidden. Move Della up behind so that she can't be hit. You go up here and support Mal. Uh, you're not much good for anything at the moment. You're too slow and you need health. Uh, you go there. And you go here. And you just come north as fast as you can. And the job is a good un. Another wraith somewhat implausibly, another ghost imp somewhat implausibly survives an attack. And horror is somewhat implausibly too far away. Oh, I've got to worry about this guy. Hmm. 
That's as safe as anything. Yeah, especially when you manage to take out an assault drone without taking any hits whatsoever. Beautiful. And now you are going to lure out this other one as well. You can move around and be ready next turn to, take, to get that house. Good, you're well on your way. This bat was really a waste of money. Okay, that did not have the desired effect. That's just attack you with the bat, to be honest. Can't think of much else good to do with it. Could even... Yeah, I'll stick you there. Now, that, you're a more appealing task than target than Malkeshar is, surely. And I don't care if you die at all. Don't care if you die either. Almost whacked to death. Let's come around here. Alright, we should have this one in the bag. mainly the question of what's the best way of dealing with A, this stupid dog. Well, I think probably there the answer is Baneblade Wraith. Could die, could die. Needs four hits and if I don't get any. Seems unlikely though. Great, and you're up to full health. going well, not going well people. Oh, <coughs> uh, you could die. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to get the villages instead. That's weird. Oh, you can't move there. It look, just looked like you could. Okay. Yep, 
you can go there, you should be safe there. Or you can come in, you can come in too. Do do do. Getting there, getting there. You get the village. And next turn I'll get the kill, hopefully. Don't you dare tread in the water and attack my wraith. Oh, no sign of it. Okay. Now, if I can get Alinea off the top of the map, I will win the game. So let's see if I can get that kill. Horo is not quite fast enough to get in. You won't die. You also won't do shit. <clears throat> The probability gods are not in my favour today. Alas. Let me try. Oh, there we go. These disgusting demons are vanquished at last. Yes, but we must proceed quickly and cautiously to the northeast, nevertheless. More troops will come if we give them the opportunity to regroup. Alright, victory condition, move Alinea to the top edge of the map. And uh, just for completionism's sake, I'm going to give you that village. You can go up here. You come up here. You come up here. There we go, we've got all the villages on the map. Isn't that grand? And a nice amount of money to, to go home with as well, and we finished halfway and turn that. Strictly speaking, top edge of the map. Yeah, okay, good. Onwards we go. Now! It's still my opinion that we are running a large risk with your current plan. Was it any better to not take risks at all in that fortress, sir? I don't know what you are trying to imply, but I may as well remind you that I wasn't the only one to hesitate and that he would not have survived the attempt without his lower half like I did. It was your assigned task to practice that spell beforehand, and you failed to do so. Don't involve me in your mistakes. Glaring at Malkeshar. Oh, let's get on with this, everybody. We haven't got much time. Awesome amounts of bonus gold. And there we are. No end music, just silence. How do we do? A couple of losses. Dark Adept Ghost Vampire Bat. I uh, don't really give a crap about that. We got some nice advancements. We got ourselves a Spectre. Um, we got ourselves a Flanker. And uh, we got ourselves a Dark Sorceress. That's in the statistics too. Well, the Dark Sorceress was already there, but yeah. To both. Both Yusungyan and Della are much closer to a level now, which is awesome. All right, join me on my journey next time, and also please like, comment, and subscribe. And that's it from me.